Such a boy. Speak to me. Let's get out of here! No stinking Jews in my line. The bread is for Poles on the Aryan side, not Jews. Go to your side. Go to the ghetto. Officer, I'm a veteran of the Polish armed services. Then you are a fighter, huh? Khan Alevich, you're wanted for work detail. Let's go. Work detail? Where? Who knows? What's the difference? Huh? All Jews, ordered to report. Well, how will I know what to wear? Don't get smart. Put on a shirt. Let's get moving. This work detail. It wouldn't by any chance be a German work detail, would it? I've warned you already. Because I only work for my people. Now move! <laughs> you, a Jewish policeman, a traitor to your people. <laughs> For this alone, I should kill you. But often I ask myself the following. Can a moral man, that's me, maintain his moral code in an immoral world? Does this question interest you? Get out of here before I hurt you. Papa, why are so many people moving here? Just be glad you've got the bread, Tosha. Take off your hat. No, well, thank you. I said take off your hat. What's the matter with you? I take off my head for myself, you'd say, for nobody else. I'm dead. 
They're bastards. They create a Jewish police force to do their dirty work. Unless, of course, they feel like having a little fun themselves. Of course, divide and conquer. Yeah. What is next? Koshik? What are you doing with this fancy car? Driving, if you hadn't noticed. What did you do? Did you steal it? No, Mordechai. Why would I steal what I can have for free? What scheme are you up to now? I am the official driver for Adam Chernyakov. The head of the Jewish Council. And that's who I'm here to pick up as we speak. Traffic permitting. Then you can help us set up a meeting with your boss, Chernyakov. And if I did that as his driver, I would put my position at risk. And if you don't do it, you'll be helping the Germans. This doesn't worry you at all, uh, aiding the enemy? I would worry more if I couldn't feed myself and what remains of my family. Yeah. Yeah. Never, mind, never mind how we deal with uh, the Jewish police, huh? Never mind how we deal with schooling the children. You know, we all have Mordecai, families Mordecai, to feed. we don't want Kajik to lose his job. Kajik. I wish you well. Miriam contacted uh, some sympathizers at the border who said they might be able to get some of our students out of Poland. But it has to be right away. What do you think? If you can get them out of Poland and to Palestine, then I would do it at once before the opportunity is lost. Yeah, I think you're right. Wish me luck. Luck. Mordecai. between the age of 12 to 60 are decreed to perform forced labor. Did you examine the documents? And you are? Yitzhak Zuckerman, that teacher. Look, look at the documents. These boys are legally exempt from forced labor. Yes, they are, aren't they? Today, everyone works Zuckerman. See that Zuckerman gets the opportunity to work as well. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Hello, take your seats, please. Mordechai. Yes, Julian. I understand. We understand we might be leaving for Palestine through Romania any day now. What do you know about this? Where did you hear this? Rumor. Rumor. Rumor from where? Rumor mill. <laughs> Rumor mill. Uh, well, unfortunately, I have to leave immediately today. But uh, I hope to return very soon and address this nasty rumor. Uh, in the meantime, taking my place for today's lesson, I have a very special treat. A renowned scholar and rumor monger, Mr. Julian Wald. Julian, come up here, please. Okay, uh, who remembers uh, today's topic? Anybody? Help me out here, because uh, I forgot to write it down. Uh, something about morality? Yes, Rania. Can a moral man maintain his moral code in an immoral world? Very good. Okay, Julian? You can, uh, you can work with that topic? Uh, sure. Good. <laughs> okay. Today's topic. Can an immoral man maintain his moral code on a first date? <laughs> so, everything is arranged until you get to the border. Mira. Still, you will have to get across on your own. Mm -hmm. And? And? If you find a safe passage. Yes. If you find a safe passage and return safely, then you will get a reward. What kind of a reward? Well, perhaps the fulfillment of your dreams. Seeing your students make the desert bloom and become fertile. That's it? It's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, you know, the danger alone. So. All right, well, perhaps the eternal gratitude of your people and of a certain person in particular. Who? Someone very close to you. What kind of gratitude?
What if I find two safe passages? Take off your armband now. Get down to the stream and follow it. Over there is the border. Is it very far? No. You should reach a safe house before nightfall. They are aware of your journey. I will receive my payment now. Oh. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. If you can pull around them. So, Kajak, how did you get this assignment, driving my car? Your other driver was taken to a slave labor battalion. And? And I was chosen to replace him. Kajak. Yes, sir. Do not steal the car. Yes, sir. Janiakov, detachment of SS soldiers under the command of Lieutenant Muller expended a number of hours burning the Jewish synagogue on Snafki Street upon request of the health ministry after finding unsanitary conditions. But the hostages taken to Boviak. We provided you with the paperwork yesterday. Uh, for this operation, 30 liters of benzene were expended, for which we would expect reimbursement. The Jewish council, there will be 20 slotties per liter, 600 slotties. We will get you the funds. About the other matter, 23 hostages were taken, some, some women and children, all because a Polish police officer was roughed up. Certainly it's the children. Work. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Commissar Horsfort, you have appointed me to administer to the needs of 350,000 people. I find it impossible to manage the community under these circumstances. And I must ask you to release me from my position as the head of the Jewish Council. That would be inadvisable. The fine levied on each prisoner is 10,000 slotties. So if the Jewish Council wishes to pay the full fine, 230,000 slotties, Make sure they do so by 6 p.m. tomorrow. 
So, you should get busy, Jenny Arkoff. Stop! What are you hiding there? Smells good. A bit of a jam, but try it. Get out of here. I'll visit for my father. He's very sick, needs it badly. How badly? Please. Ah! Tush! Now, get out of here. Tush, come. Mama. No. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's too dangerous to go out like you do. Hello, dear. to sell a few books. I'll try and keep your favorites. I think we need some more. Do you want another blanket? Are you warm enough? I won't allow you, do you hear me? Papa, I'm going to keep your favorites. And I'll bring back bread. Your mother thinks I don't know she's sewing for the rich Polish woman, but I do. Make sure she's careful on the streets. So dangerous. Promise me you won't tell her I know. I promise. We have to hurry, Rachel. I promise, Papa. I got the head. Be careful on the other side. I will be, Papa. I will. No light to ship ass candles. Sorry, I'm late. You heard about the ransom demand? Yes, it's a terrible situation. I think now we must ask your men to speak with the relatives of the hostages, see what they can contribute. How much time do we have? Tomorrow night, 6 o'clock. For 38 years, this is on my head. Put it in the envelope, Mrs. Rochelle. I will get my David back. He's a good boy. They have no business taking him. <laughs> you are a good boy, too. Your mother must be very proud, Kayla. Good day. Captain Sharinsky, this is the ring you wanted to see. Pretty girl like you doing here. Same thing you're doing, getting by. <laughs> but you're not Jewish. So why are you in the ghetto? But I am. I have to go to the other side to make money for food. Can you help me get across? I could. But then I could cause myself a lot of trouble. This is the money from Captain Sharinsky's men. This is all you received? Yes. You counted it twice? No. Three times. They're short. I know. They're 80,000 what they're short. I know. Already four o'clock. Why didn't Sharinsky call? He said he's doing his best. 
Good to meet Rabbi Lubovitch. Come, Rabbi, please. Excuse me for being so bold, sir, but a rabbi should not go into an establishment of such ill repute. Mr. Asher, in the Jewish faith it is customary that we demonstrate our love of God through our good deeds. It is true. In this manner, God is able to bestow his great blessings upon us. It is also true. I believe today you have a special opportunity to demonstrate your love of God. Should you wish to do so, preferably before 6 p.m. Mr. Chernyakov. I wish to thank you for affording me this special opportunity to receive God's blessing. Should you ever bring the rabbi in my club again? If you pull a stand like this again, I'll kill you. Make no mistake. Handling the four hostages there's a deadline, six o'clock. Mr. Oswald was called to Berlin for important meetings. Then who is in charge? Please do not stand so close to my desk. Who is in charge? I'm asking you. Who, who is in charge? I'm here to pay the full fine. There's a deadline. I know nothing about this situation. The commissar will have no instructions about this. Someone must know. Who is handling this? Step back from the desk. I do not wish your decisions. I'm this is the payment. Call Poviak Prison. Tell them the payment has been delivered. Did you say Paviak? Poviak Prison, yes. 23 hostages. I saw a notice on Paviak. Yeah. yeah, here it is. On the authority of the Commissar's office, 23 prisoners were executed at 10 this morning for crimes against the Polish people. No. These were not crimes. There were no crimes. These were innocent people. They were children. You were with child. Did you know there were children? I know nothing about this situation. If you wish to discuss this with the Commissar, he will return next Tuesday. You are with child. Have you no connection? I have answered your questions. You are free to go now. This morning, at 10 o'clock, the 23 hostages were executed by order of the Commissar's office. I am very sorry. So you still don't want to tell me who your comrades are? Huh? Maybe I can be more convincing. Very convincing. We've had 4,000 deaths. By starvation and typhus this month. Again, the population is now approaching 450. The Germans are now rationing daily calories. We're calculating 2,613 for German nationals, 699 for Poles, and 184 for Jews. Our world's office has ordered the Jewish Council to pay for all costs, labor, and material for this ghetto war. I want you all to know that I do not believe that our situation, I do not believe it to be hopeless. I believe that if we remain strong and active, it 
somehow, some sense of reason. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, we must persevere. It's been so long. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Oh, here. I'll take this. How's my sister? Gina's fine. Do you want me to wake her? No, no, no. Let her sleep. Oh, are you sure you don't need a doctor? No, no, no. I just, uh, I just need to rest. You weren't successful, were you? No. Well, if we can't get to Palestine and be farmers, we'll stay here and be fighters. That's a fine way to greet a friend. I wouldn't do that again. Somebody else will shoot first and ask questions later. Duly noted. So, Kozik, what could have made you give up your fancy car and join the resistance? I can't think of a better way to meet women. <laughs> Always the idealist, huh? Hello. Ah, Yitzhak. Yes. You look like crap. Thank you. But to be honest, you were never really that good looking to begin with. Thank you. Don't worry, you'll survive. Yitzhak, I brought you a little something. A gift from my travels. The first of many, I hope. Here, in case you run into trouble again, you and me, we're going to put a stop to this, yes? We've already begun to bring together various factions into a coherent underground organization. And the Bund? Are they with us? They are still unconvinced. We have so much to do and little time to do it in. We've organized our own underground soup kitchens, our own schools, our own hospitals. It's our own little society. It's just surrounded by a brick wall. What about the... No. I have been unable to get you a meeting with Chianyakov. He refuses. He refuses? I don't see him, do you? His car is there. Over there with Captain Churinsky and that pest Kalal Vasa. He'll be here. There he is. Sir. So you refuse to meet my friend? <laughs> So tell me, my recently departed driver, with whom am I refusing to meet? Mordecai and Levitch. Ah, Professor Ringelblum's friend who has an interest in history. Yeah, and an interest in uh, protecting our people. And you think that by writing up flyers and having underground meetings and preparing resistance against the Germans will accomplish this? That's not all I propose, sir. We must strike back in any way we can. And you are not worried about the German doctrine of collective responsibility, because what you are proposing is spitting right in their eye, and they will retaliate against innocent Jews even harder than they did in the last hostage crisis. They suffer anyway. Every day they die of disease and starvation and worse. And you sit at the table, sir, and you negotiate with these Germans as if they're reasonable? Yes, I do. I try to minimize the harm. Believe it or not, so do we. 
Please give us a chance. Please give us some money and your support to get started. Your dream is a, it's a romantic notion that will get you all killed. And I will not support them. I will not. And then, then you should be wearing a hat. And this feather, you can get pneumonia. Good day. And five, six, seven, eight, plie, and stretch, relevé, down, grand plie, five, six, seven, eight, grand plie, one, two, three, four. Here, go on. Clear. They're gone. So you talked to Chunyakov? What did he say? He said they won't support us right now. So what about later? We're going to be more persuasive. Perhaps we can rendezvous at the Copernicus statue tonight and discuss your views more fully. Talk about today. It is our priority to find more women couriers who can pass as Gentiles and work on the Aryan side. Why not men? Who can pass? Clara. Men do not fare as well in a slip search. Circumcision. <laughs> to be taken, I will be alone. Okay, you've been thinking about this. Go to class. Go. Kochak, uh, you had any luck uh, convincing Chenyakov to help us? No. But come to our next recital. Yes, join us on Thursday. Chenyakov loves recitals. Ah, uh, uh, very good. Tosha, is this the child? Yes. Hmm. You found her near the cemetery? That's correct. And you lack the resources to care for her? Nothing. Mm. This child is not well. Mm. Uh -huh. Mrs. Linda, can we afford to take another child? We cannot. We cannot take another child. What then? 
we have no choice, do we? <laughs> I want to meet my family. My wife, Elsa. Pleasure. Hello. This is Karl Wasser, one of our finest young officers. And this is our daughter, Inka. We'll let you two get acquainted. It's a lovely house. Thank you. That ring, I couldn't help but notice it's very unique. Yes. Have you had it long? No, just since my birthday. And your father, he gave it to you? Yes. How did you know? Just a guess. Uh, we just had reports that there were mass killings in the village where your parents live. No one survived. How about the rumor that the Gestapo has offered you a certificate to Palestine? It is not a rumor. It is the truth. I refused. I must thank you for your help raising money for us. I wish I could do more for the children. Well, then, by all means, do more. Do the talking, okay? You do the talk. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, you have received our latest request. Yes, I have received it. You want to buy arms? Yeah, and, and the council? There, are. Eh? And? You want to buy guns? And then what? Jewish honor. Jewish honor. Father who is hiding his son. Is not honorable. A rabbi who is teaching a child his lessons is not honorable. A mother who is taking care of her children and many more, she is not honorable either. No. For you, honor, honor can only come out of the barrel of a gun. You talk about Jewish honor. I talk about Jewish responsibility. Call it what you like. Will the council support the resistance movement? Oh, no, no. No, they will actively oppose it, and it is for your own good. What? You have heard, you've heard of the, the mass killings at Rodham and Kielce, yes? These are not rumors. These are facts from the mouths of our own people. Outside of Kamel, thousands of Jews were taken in sealed vans with, with hoses pumping gas into them. I know this because my parents were among them. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> the largest armies in the world have not been able to defeat the Nazis. What makes you think that a, a handful of untrained Jewish citizens with pistols will be the ones to prevail? So instead of opposing the Germans, you propose to leave the fate of our people in their very hands. You will excuse me. Mothers held their children to their breasts to protect them from the gas. When the Germans found these babies still alive, they would swing them against trees to kill them. Is that graphic enough for you? That is not the point. That is the point. Uh, then let's let's just salute, huh? Salute. <laughs> salute what? Your disciples, your your followers, your your foot soldiers. But what? They're all over there, in the parade. That's your honor, Jim.
It's an illegal gathering. You are instructed to return to your homes immediately. Is this really necessary? I struggle to find why our recital is injurious to the Third Reich. I believe that concludes today's program. Please join us tomorrow for a very special salute to Richard Wagner. Good evening. Jew, say something for us. We have just been instructed to go home. I instruct you now. Play something. something? She gripped the guns. I'm sorry about your friend. The Germans will retaliate. They do whatever they want to us. This is not a responsible fighting well, organization. They were not a responsible fighting organization. No, you, you must not act impulsively. We must carefully plan and coordinate I'm every tired action of the we Do you understand? I'm sick of it. Of watching and waiting and standing by and being passive. I won't do it anymore. No, not passive. I won't do it anymore. Not passive. Prudent in our actions. We need to get weapons from the Polish underground. Ari needs all the help he can get. You will look after my sister? I will look after Gina. Go. Chernyakov, chairman of the Jewish Council? Yes. Yes, I am Dr. Fritz Hippler with the Public Information Office. Please, please. Under the auspices of Secretary Goebbels, we are documenting Jewish life in the ghetto and we wish you to be a participant. Please. Come. And what do you wish me to do? Sit at your desk and conduct your business as you would. Come over here, please. What is this? This makes the picture look good. I, I would not have that. Good. Now, I want you people to conduct business as you would on any normal day. Please, have a seat. We're ready? Yeah. Yeah? And roll camera and begin. Begin talking. Adam. Yes, Nathan. Are you aware that there is a rather large candelabra on your desk? Yes, I'm aware. Keep talking. And are you aware that wax is dripping all over your work? 
Yes, I see that. Then if I may ask, why would you have a large candelabra on your desk if it drips wax all over your work? I have it, Nathan, because it is good for the picture. Stop, 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 stop. Just a moment, please. Yes, uh, the lighting is all wrong. Look, this one has a perfectly good Hebrew nose, and uh, I can't see it at all. Oh, it's not always fault. There is talk about uh, deportations and uh, putting to death of people in the camps. Just talk. Mm -hmm. Rumors. I can assure you, no truth to them whatsoever. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. Places, people. Please. Good. And, and would you sit down, please, in your in your chair? Can we see that? Yes, that's that's much better. Yeah. Uh, there is, there is one thing, though. Um, you're all being very still, uh, too still. Jewish people normally move their hands around when they talk, so I want to see you move your hands more, yes? Let me see that. Like this. Bigger. And you? Very good. Yes, that's something like that, yes. Good. All right. And roll camera and... Begin talking and use your hands. Yes. Adam. What? Are you aware that there is a large candelabra in the middle of your desk? Yes, Nathan. You can rest assured that I am fully aware of all that is transpiring. The essential trait of the Jew is that he always tries to hide his origin when among non-Jews. People, I want you to work faster. Wherever rats turn up, they carry destruction to the land and spreading diseases and plagues, just as the Jews do among mankind. This is a conspiracy against all non-Jews by a sick, deceitful, poisoned race against the Aryan peoples and their moral laws. Thank you, Merrick. Enjoy your work, but do it faster. Remember, work will make you free. right here. They will save your life. Jews, regardless of sex and age, with certain exceptions, are to be deported to work camps in the east by 4 p.m. Commissar Auerswald. Today we expect you to provide the first contingent of 6,000 people. This will be the minimum daily quota. <laughs> and, and the children in orphanages? Regardless of sex and age. Yeah, per perhaps something. Regardless of sex and age. Lieutenant, I am Adam Chaniakov. I'm the chairman of the Jewish Council. I have been given assurances at the highest level concerning the treatment of the children. I fully expect those assurances to be honored. Kindly sign this proclamation. I will not. Mr. Cherniakov. If the deportation is impeded in any way by you or your people, the consequences will be dire.
This is the beginning of an assault on the existence of the Jewish people. So what, what do we do? What do we do in the face of this horror? Do we, do we sit on our hands and, uh, and wait for the next slap in the face from the enemy? Or, or do we hide within ourselves huh? so that the blows don't hurt us so much? Or maybe we, we lift our hands to God huh? and pray for the Messiah to come. Huh? Messiah, are you coming? I, I don't think he's coming. So what do we do? We use our hands and our arms and our hearts and our lives and our deaths and we fight back, we resist. If you can't fight, then run. If you can't run, then hide. But you must resist. You must. Those of us who are willing to resist must work together. We must share arms, we must share information. What? And... What? We must leave for Warsaw. What is it? We must leave now. They have asked me to kill the children with my own hands. This I cannot do. Signed, Adam Chaniakov. You said we had 15 minutes. Ralf. And we will take our 15 minutes. And when we get to the camp, we will all get to see the most beautiful pine trees and birch trees. And if there are beautiful trees, what else will we see? Birds. Birds, yes. That's right, that's right. And what else? Rabbits? Rabbits? Yes, yes, very good, very good, yes. And? Squirrels. Squirrels, very good, Leon. Many, many squirrels. <laughs> uh, uh, don't forget the king, Matt Clyde. Friends in the Bund still have contact with the railway workers. Yes. Do you think you can make it out of the ghetto again? I can try. Go, Zygmunt, follow the trains and tell us definitively where they are going. Shining, smiling at the children. One, two, three. One, two, three. Forward, boys. 
forward ready. There'll be many adventures here. One, two, three. One, two, three. The children are marching down the road. One, two, three. One, two, three. Above the road, the sun is shining, smiling at the children. Kosha, why are you here? You accept from this order. What about the children? The children must board the train. Then I will do as well. You must do this. I won't allow you on the train. Well, then kill me here and now in front of the children. Berg said they want workers, but they're not taking cripples. It's the only chance. Ah! Quickly now, quickly now, before the guard returns! Okay, it's the only chance. But I'm a dancer. Clara, hold your breath. Gina was taken to the camps. Sigmund is back from Treblinka. Sigmund, it's Mordecai. Can you tell us what you saw? Collect yourself and tell us. Children, women, by the thousand, cast to death in showers. They can hide everything, but not the stench of the dead. This is the map of the camp of death. This is the map of Trubinka. People pleading for their lives with this scum. This scum, I want their blood on my hand. <clears throat> we know that Adam Chernyakov has committed suicide. We now know that 300,000 Warsaw Jews have been either sent to Treblinka, a death camp, or have simply been murdered. 
For now the deportations have ceased. They're going to resume. And when they do, we will no longer submit. We are going to respond with armed resistance. We have to use this time wisely to root out traitors and collaborators, to acquire weapons, to prepare a plan of battle, and most importantly, to let all of those who remain in the ghetto know that we can and we will fight our enemy now! with all the Jewish groups finally under one banner with one purpose. Perhaps we can save some lives. Perhaps we can remove a few Germans from the face of the earth. But this much, this much I promise you, we will live with honor. And we will die with honor. Jewish honor. I'm, I'm ashamed of, of what I've been party to. I'm a lawyer by training. I just wanted to save my family, to survive like everyone else. Now I'm, I'm ashamed to wear my uniform. You should be ashamed. <laughs> Stop it. Stop crying like a child. I don't trust him. Send him on a mission. I don't trust him. Send him on a mission and then we'll see which side he's on. Zachariah will observe him. If he fails, we'll execute him, like the others who have been exceptionally cruel to their own people. If he succeeds, keep him in uniform. Could prove useful to have a policeman working for us. We want you to go undercover to the Aryan side to smuggle weapons into the ghetto. Are you willing to do that? Yes. She has no family anymore. There's no one left. This is a map of Treblinka. You must get it to one of our couriers and it must travel to England. Do you see your name? Viesha. Viesha Savitska. Viesha Savitska. You are to hide this map inside your shoe. Do you understand? What night this is? No. I think it might be Friday night. We didn't light the Sabbath candles. We don't have any Sabbath candles. Good night. Good night. I forgot to, to ask your name. It's Pesha. And your? Franya. Night Franya. I say that we just go out in broad daylight and we shoot as many as we can. Forget dying in a blaze of glory, oh, Nero. Why give them the satisfaction and make it easy on them? I still we think we should wait as long option. as possible so we can acquire more weapons and continue to train. No, exactly. Time. What we have to do is we have to organize escape to the woods. We create a larger organization and we fight them from outside the ghetto. No, no, no. no. We'll never make it on the outside. Marek. We'll be sold out. We'll be Marek. informed on. We'll be slaughtered, a lot of us. I think we should take them all hostage and make them listen to German folk music really loud until they lose their minds and they give up. Kashyyyk, this is a serious point. Every day of peace in the ghetto is another day that we can prepare for the organized attack look, of the future. Look, look, We need to send a series of messages to the Jewish police, to the Jewish council, to our own people in this the ghetto, and to the Nazis. And we need to do it right now, Yitzhak. We can't wait. 
They have to know who we are and that we mean business. Absolutely. Even if it means using up uh, all our weapons completely. Yes, weapons. even if it means this. Then we just have to pray. For what? For what? For Tosha to get the map out of the ghetto and for she and Ari to smuggle more weapons back in. Do you want me to use this? Another one. Another one! He has escaped. We must capture him now. of blocks. You're lucky. Lucky? Most people that go to that guard shack don't come out. I think this is where you take your armband off and leave us. Are you going to turn me in? No. It's Kajik. I couldn't get close to the gate. It wasn't safe. So I had to follow your wagon. Come, walk. Walk, sorry.
Blackmail is up ahead. We need to laugh. Laugh? Yes. Jews look dumb. Jews look sad. Jews avert their eyes. Blackmailers can smell fear. So, can you laugh? <laughs> Try again. No, she thought you do it big like this. <laughs> I said sleep, not sheep. Sleep. Not bad. <laughs> Keep practicing. So he was good. I wanted to arrange a meeting with your boss, Sharinsky. You can accomplish this? Yes. Good. I'm sorry if it's, it's been in my show for a couple of days. Yeah, it gives it character. Do you realize that this map of Treblinka will travel by special courier all the way to the Prime Minister Churchill himself? With the other documents he will carry, hopefully it will persuade the Allies to get us the weapons we need to bomb the German trains and hopefully even the death camps themselves. Do you understand now? Yes. Captain Chirinsky, I have a message for you from the Jewish Fighting Organization. For your traitorous activities and for collaboration with the enemy, you have been tried in a court of your people and have been condemned to death. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is it too heavy? It's all right, they can carry it, but what if it gets dropped? You wouldn't want to drop dynamite. No, but what if something falls? You wouldn't want something to fall. What if it gets bumped? Bumped could be okay. Good work. You're shooting, Good Hello. job, Kalel. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the family, Kalel. Now the Germans will come to us, yeah? Thank you. Let's go quickly, lady. Steady. In. Fire. 
good, good. Remember, one round, one German. No wasted rounds, yeah? Okay, front row kneels. All right, steady. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. It's all right, you're with friends here. Steady, yes. and fire. Good, and steady. Mordecai. Yeah. Toja's brought us some gifts. Perfect timing. Good. When can we expect more? I said there will be another shipment momentarily. He will smuggle them personally. Good. Good. Steady. And fire. Devorah, I said aim. Yes, very important to aim. Arguably almost as important as firing itself. Come here. Very good, very good, except... Marek, Ooh. look what Toja's brought us. Zivia, <coughs> please. A uh, good rule of thumb, never to pat the bomb maker on the back while he's working, okay? Uh, what's this? <coughs> oh, dynamite. Excellent. I also need, uh, <coughs> potassium chlorine. I also need... <coughs> Bottles, can you get me those? Yes, I'll try. What's a new set of lungs? Marek used to work in the lab at the hospital. This is more fun. Uh, anything else, Mr. Engineer? More. Just more of everything. More. You're all under arrest! Put down your bombs and return immediately to the Umschlagplatz! Heil Schittler! That would bring us here, right? Tajik, who's that girl with the pistol? That's Devora Baron. She's with uh, Merrick and Gutmann at the brushmakers. That is such a coincidence. I was thinking that they should be stationed at the brushmakers. Don't you agree, boss? Estimates that there are only 30 to 40,000 left right here in I'm disappointed, Colonel von Zaman. There's so many. They sabotaged our factories, they attacked our soldiers. There and there, look, you see? And another. Now we have an understanding, Colonel von Zaman. Now I can rely on you to make sure that Varsha is free of these vermin. Absolutely. Weiter, weiter. Ja. 
Up here! There are Jews inside! Deportations. For the first time, the enemy knows who we are as a people. They know that we will resist. They know that we will fight back. They know that they're going to pay for their mass murder. What they don't know is how long and how hard and how successfully we're going to battle. In fact, we're going to light a torch of resistance and it's going to burn so brightly that others everywhere are going to be inspired to resist as well. For Stosh, for Michael, for Leon, for Ariel, for Z, and for Clara, who sacrificed their lives for our dignity. A moment, please, of uh, reflection and of silence. Mm -hmm.
have good news to report. Faced with ferocious Jewish resistance, the Germans have surrendered. Hitler has apologized for all the inconvenience. The Jews have won. I should notify the Allies. What for? What have they done for us? Uh, my favorite thing about the zoo is the animals. They're not gonna turn you in. What about him, that Polish monkey over there? Oh, no. He's okay. He used to date my cousin, Ida. This letter goes to Clickfish as soon as you leave. Follow my lead. Sorry. Oops. Just being protective. If you'd like to be my boyfriend, that's all right with me. You know, I will be going on these missions, and if I don't come back, I'd like somebody to know that I didn't come back. Stop! <laughs> Sir! If this man died on the Aryan side. I have orders to take him to the Jewish cemetery. What's in the box? A Jew named Izzy. Open it. The casket? Open it now. All right, sir. <laughs> Get the truth away from here. Yes, sir. Good work, Izzy. You really are a very good stinker. Did Ari say anything? He said there were more on the way. But for now, 50 pistols and two rifles. But now, I must attempt an even more important mission. Procreation. So that the Fuhrer has one more ghetto fighter to deal with. Attempt is the right word. My father always said, study hard, get a degree, so you won't have to dig ditches. The home army is very impressed with our actions. It's just a start. I hope. Not quickly, quickly! to fight with. One of you must go. Ari's sources are probably in hiding, terrified he might talk. Ari won't talk. Ari won't talk. Ari will not talk. He won't talk, Zivia. We know that. They don't. Kaushi, can we get them out? It's going to be difficult. Can we do it or not? How much will it cost? I'm not certain if it's a matter of money. What we must do is focus on reconnecting with Ari's sources. Now, come on. Decide. You're not the Aryan culture. You were raised... You have a better face. You look more Aryan, and you I know too many so. people there. I'm sure to be recognized there. You know the language. My language is obviously foreign. Everybody what, knows What if me. someone asks where I'm from? What if somebody denounces me? What do you want me? to do? Flip a coin to the side? Come on. 
Come on, Yitzhak. You go and you bring us back the weapons that we need. Look at this. You look fine. You look like a Polish businessman. Yeah. Nobody asks you, you came to town to buy shirts, okay? The gods have been greased, you all said. Look at, look, look, this suit. What, what do you want? It's all we could find on short notice. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it, you look fine. Really? Nice ankles. Look. <clears throat> your documents. Your new identity. Vitor? Vitor. It's good work, Merrick. Vitor. I know. Friendly is going to escort you to the other side. She'll bring you to Toshia, who will arrange for you to contact all the necessary poles, okay? Where is the, where's Frania? She's over there with Julian. She's one of our very best. Good. I'll be watching your back. Oh, that makes me feel much better. Well. I'm just across the street. Serve your strength, okay? Just rest. What the guy? Yeah, you'll fight later. Just get better. Uh, all right, I need to ask you. Uh, I didn't tell them anything. Rest. Kajik, how did you get them out? We did nothing. The Gestapo made a mistake and accepted our bribe. Even when I believe you're telling the truth, I think you're making it up. Now there's a vote of confidence for you. In 29 Lafitte Rothschild. Flawless, a bouquet that will last a century. Have yourself a sip, Dr. Fritz Hippler. You won't regret it. Do I lie? Is it not flawless? Yes, it's very good. Good? It's not good. This is exquisite. I liked your movie, The Eternal Jew. It was relentless. As the French would say, I'm pitoyable, without pity. The Eternal Jew. What a terrifying title. Hmm. Big nose. Fruity. What do you think? I agree. You're not a wine aficionado, are you? No, not really. It's a Jewish wine, made by a Jewish viticulture, Rothschild. Surprising, isn't it? Hmm? Mm. Enough about wine. <laughs> In confidence, you spent time around Colonel von Salmon. Haven't you? Yeah. Tell me about him. Where should I start? With the engagement on January 18th, when his troops were first fired upon by the subhumans of the Jewish sector.
German soldiers are massing outside the ghetto by the hundreds. Caliber. Hi, Melanie. Uh, one German, two Germans, three Germans. Two here. Caliber. 7.62. Point nine two carbon. Julian, how did you get the rifle? My eyesight. <laughs> Julian, I don't miss. One German platoon. Zygmunt. Seven nine two. Do you hear this? They're singing. The pastors are singing. army into the sector like uh, sightseers on holiday all is lost the troops have retreated many are dead or wounded I know I was there we must respond with overwhelming force immediately from the Reichsführer Reichsführer Himmler 
promised Hitler a Warsaw free of Jews by his birthday tomorrow. You understand this? And if other Jews are emboldened by this turn of events, other sectors initiate their own uprisings, it spreads to the Poles. You see the implications? See the cause for concern? On the orders of the high command, you are relieved of your post forthwith. Oh, and to avoid any unnecessary strain between German and Austrian factions in the SS ranks, the order for your execution has been withdrawn. You are dismissed. We're still here. Who would have bet on it? We have some real weapons to fight back with. Julian, well done. Look. Our little nation. Did you ever think in your lifetime you would see this? What is he doing? Either he's showing his troops that he's not afraid, or he really likes his table. He goes out to the officers. Good for their nerves. How can you sleep at a time like this? Easily. Dr. Hitler. Yes, sir. I don't care where you put the camera. Just don't film the flags. But <laughs> makes for a better story. Uh, they show what our soldiers had to overcome in order to achieve victory. General Kruger was fighting. You are not to shoot the flags unless General Kruger shows up personally and instructs you to do so. Is that clear? Crystal clear. I should point Marek. Marek, wake up!
dozens of our men were killed, more wounded than the brush makers. I don't know what to write you. Let's dispense with the personal details this time. I have only one expression to describe my feelings and the feelings of my comrades. Things have surpassed our boldest dreams. The Germans ran away from the ghetto twice. One of our units held out for 40 minutes and the other one for more than six hours. Know that the pistol has no value. Practically don't use it. We need grenades, rifles, machine guns, and explosives. Your friend in arms, Mordecai. Yes, I did say that, Reichsführer Himmler. They are crafty, but we will put an immediate end to this uprising. No, not today. Two, three days, perhaps. Excuse me. Yes, of course. Yes, right. Not a serious. Go. Get down in the basement now. Go. Yeah. Bring everybody in from the roof. Get Kamel in. Bring everybody in! Oh. Pull back! Your mistake. 
There were no casualties today. There are no mistakes. There were. There are no mistakes now. Have you apprehended the leaders yet? Not yet, sir. I I'm not looking for an explanation. I'm looking for an acceptable answer. And that would be yes. We have captured and destroyed the leadership. Hey, Hitler. I have a message from Himmler. I've just begun to get a sort of a disgraceful situation. Do you wish to hear what the Reichsführer has to say? Of course. As a lover of Wagner, he said that you conducted the overture to this grand operation magnificently, particularly compared to von Sammer. He went on to say, play on, maestro. The Fuhrer and I won't forget you. We in London now have in our possession concrete information concerning the systematic mass murder of the Jewish population in Poland, committed by the German nation in such a The Polish courier must have gotten through. There is no other way they could have gotten those details so right. If the Allies will bomb the railroads or the camps, or even Warsaw itself, we will have a chance. I don't know. Do you really think? Sure. Scum, Kalel. Jewish police scum. What is he doing here? Leave him. You hate hey, hey. my children and go to the train. I sold my mother. Sold him. Go. Get off. Kill you with my own hands. One of us. Get off. He's fighting for you now. Right. They're right. What they said, I did. I know, and you know I know. But we don't have to listen to me. We don't have time to dwell on the past. There's only time to plan for our immediate future. The weapons didn't make it through. Yitzhak? Our shipment of weapons was intercepted by the Germans in the cemetery. And the Germans have discovered the tunnel at Miranovska. It is no longer safe. Today is Easter, right? Tosha, you're going out for some fresh air. You must take these explosives and get them to Mordecai, no matter what. You must get them to the fighters. Do you hear? Sundays through all? Jew Beach. We're not going to follow you around all day. 3,000 slotties, or we introduce you to the Gestapo. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> no, come, let's go. I want to see the little room. What little room? The room the Gestapo reserves for really, really pathetic crooks who waste their time turning in fellow Poles. <laughs> yes, I understand that those thugs are given the full treatment. So, let's go. Let's go! I will create a defense! Dominus Vobis the women naked. This won't happen again. Domino Deo Nostro. Get the ladder. Now that's 
That's a fine marksman. They call them parachutists or balloonists. They've devised a game whereby the winner is he who delivers the most bullets to the jumper before he hits the ground. Films and photographs of this grand operation will be invaluable to future historians of the Third Reich. It'll also be useful as training materials for the SS and as living document of the sacrifices that the Nordic races made to rid Europe and the world of the Jews. All the assets are blocked. Well, we can't stay here. We have to leave now. How? If there's no way out, we'll be easy targets. I'll go out first. I'll get their attention. What are you talking about? You once asked me, can a moral man maintain his moral code in an immoral world? Here's my answer. Enim kali sanguinis mei, noviet eterni testamenti, misterium fidei qui provobis et promultis et fundetur in remissionem peccatorum. A relativity Jew, Albert Einstein, who masked his hatred of Germans behind his obscure pseudosciences. Ah, the propaganda is not well understood, is it? Keep it simple. Repeat it over and over until it takes on a life of its own. It comes the truth, in effect. We are not the only ones who are fighting the war on the film front. The Allies have hired Frank Capra to direct their efforts. Should I know that name? He's a very successful Hollywood filmmaker. A little sappy for my taste, but at the top of his game. 
Seems the Americans weren't all that interested in going to war. So he was brought into popularized notion. Worse still, he stole footage that I commissioned and used it for ridicule. As I say, it all depends on where you put the camera and who is telling the story. These are not the Aryan women from my hometown, Detmold. They are acrobatic sharpshooters, fighting demons, Amazons. I don't believe this business about Jewish women bewitching Aryans. She is expressive, though. understand that the considerations we face today are extremely complex. Of course. There are those in the Home Army, both here and in London, that feel the transfer of weapons to untrained Jewish street fighters is a futile and wasteful use of our limited resources. And what if this Jewish uprising were to spread? The Polish underground is hardly equipped to take on German forces. Thousands of Poles would be slaughtered. And we cannot allow that to happen. May I remind you, Colonel, that we too are Polish citizens? Perhaps these influences in the Home Army are secretly grateful to the Nazis for ridding their country of Jews. I pray to God you can rise above those influences. The considerations we face are complex. That may be, but you see, Colonel, the considerations my people face are simple. In fact, I would have to say that the considerations my people face are positively elemental. We must have arms. We must have explosives. We must have something other than our fists and, and bricks and our unbreakable will. Immediately, you take no risk. And if you fail to act, our blood will be on your hands. sounds reasonable and your reports to Himmler make it seem as if things were going well but they aren't now are they General Kruger in a very short while the Jewish sector of Warsaw will be no more every building will be raised to the ground then we will bring these vermin to the surface or bury them a short while this little group of bandits have held off the German military for longer than the entire country of Poland. Is that a short while? 
It would make your job and mine easier if your reports weren't so optimistic and our casualties were, shall we say, less. To be perfectly blunt. Jan. No luck. The Poles won't give us any more weapons. And you? None. Any word from Tosha? The others are secure. Follow me. Where? There's a bunker at Mila 18. Fighters, Kajik? Yes. Okay, go. Asha, Mordecai and Alevich. Hello. Hi. I've heard about you and your group. Now, let me show you around my basement empire. Auschwitz, Neblinka, Sorbibor. <laughs> and there is Mauthausen. We have running water. We have electricity. It's too hot, and dust is horrible for my allergies. Come on, I'll show you something nice. There are five entrances and five exits. They come in handy in my line of work. This way. Who's winning? Whatever is ours is yours. Well, um, not really everything. <laughs> Unable to make it to the Yitzhak via the sewers. I'll go. No, you won't. Not until your ankle heals. Kozik, I want you to go. And, uh, bring Zygmunt with you. Oh, huh. well, that's perfect. Tovio couldn't make the cross, so we sent Kozik. What makes you think we can succeed? Because you're going to go through the tunnel. What tunnel? The tunnel at Miranovska. Yeah, there's a tunnel there for special occasions. The question is, how safe is it? <coughs> yes. Yes, that is a good question. Yeah, it's risky, but it's worth it. If Yitzhak has found guns and supplies, we can hold out for a while longer, even if he hasn't. It's critical that we find a way in and out of the ghetto. We're playing kit and mouse with Stroop and his men. We can't hold out forever. Yesterday we were seeking safe passage to Palestine. Today we seek safe passage across the street. Our world has gotten pretty small, eh? Luck. Luck. Go. Make me proud. Make yourself proud.
Let's go, Romeo. I'm instructing Zivia and Marek to assemble a small squad. Their mission will be to find an exit out of the ghetto through the sewer canals. This is going to be very difficult, if not impossible, as we know. The maze of canals is vast and confusing. Those who wish to leave will be given the opportunity. Those who wish to stay will do so. Perhaps it will be possible to connect with the partisans in the forest and to continue our fight. Perhaps not. But throughout our difficult struggle, we have been determined to preserve one choice. How we die. Whether it be here, in an airless bunker, or elsewhere. I don't know. But I can assure you of one thing. The spirit of our depths. <clears throat> the spirit of our depths will shape the soul of a new generation. A new nation of Jews. All right. Let's wish Zivia and Merrick luck. Luck. And we continue. You're a sight for sore eyes. So are you. And Julian? He's our best marksman. Oh. No, 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 Kashi, it's all right, it's all right. Tell me. Something is not right. What? The level of fighting is decreased. They only attack us at night. They're playing puzzle. The Gestapo's informer has told us where the command bunker is. And this time I think it's accurate. Well, that is good news, isn't it? Too good. Too easy. Is your ankle better? Yes. Yeah? You want to go with the others, you can. It's up to you. I'd rather stay here and fight with you and Ari. That's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Where are the sewer workers? I don't know what happened. They were paid to guide us. But they haven't shown up. We need to go now. This is far too dangerous for you. No. We are going into the ghetto tonight. If not to the sewers, over the wall. Are you out of your mind? We have no chance to survive without the plan. Not to the fighters. We don't get them out right now. And how will we do that if we are shot going in? I am going. But how do you intend to get them out? Are you with me or not? We have no chance to succeed without a Polish guide to take us into the sewers and out again. Do you see a guide? Do you? There is no sewer worker. Are you with me or not? I will go with you, Itzhak. So you can make your own funeral arrangements. I will not carry your coffin. I will accompany you. But he makes sense. Maybe we should try again tomorrow with the Poles. We can't rely on the Poles, Franja. We can't rely on anyone else to get us in. Zivia, when you get down to the sewer, go left. And let's hope for the best. I will cover your escape. Go, before you forget why you're leaving. We'll be back. Goodbye, Zakara. Come 
on you already a day late. Hey, let's go. Come Follow. On. Tell our friends to keep their spirits up. something, huh? <laughs> what is it? I just had the most uh, ridiculous dream. It was so vivid. I was sleeping and your sister Gina came and woke me up and she took me outside to this beautiful garden and there were grapes and nuts and figs. <laughs> it's very biblical, huh? And then she took me to a basket and there was a, a baby inside it. And she said that he was my, my child. And I took him and I held him in my arms. Tell me the history of the eternal Jew. How did this film of yours come to be? Goebbels commissioned it was uh, his idea, his pet project. He felt that uh, Germans were not anti-Semitic enough. It didn't come as easy to them as, say, the Poles or the French or even the English. The film was the psychological underpinning of the Führer's plan for racial purity. Why do you think these Jewish women are such ferocious fighters? Desperation. Uh, I've never witnessed this before. I saw one woman shot several times as she was dying. She cursed me in a language that was beyond vile. I can't get the image out of my mind. Maybe you're bewitched. Here's to good bewitching. Halt! Completely blocked. Yes. 
says maybe there is a way to the sewers through the cellar wall. That way? Yeah. All right, uh, Tosha, go and buy it. See if it's possible. Yes. All right. Enforcements. Spread out and try to outflank them. Find Zechariah, spread out and create a diversion. Hurry up, Julia. through this. Good. Lead me. No. I go no further. You have been paid to lead me. I assure you that's all. As a member of the home army, it is my assigned mission to rescue Christian Poles trapped in the ghetto. If you do not wish to cooperate, then I will give you a simple choice. Lead me or die. That is your choice. Follow me. Good decision. Fighters are all dead. Okay, we stay. We fight here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This way. Quick. Come on. How much further till we get to the ghetto? Already, everything is sealed. Get everybody in the position. You don't have a gun. One you person hide. right over yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Come on, move. Found an entrance to the sewer canals. Not yet. Hurry. We are. Soon enough. I'm sorry. All right, Julian. Take your position. You've done well. I wonder if Zivia and the group made it through. Zivia will find a way out. I would have bet that Kashik found a way back. I would have bet on him. You won't disappoint him. Mira, let me ask you a question. How is it you always manage to be so positive, so optimistic, so, uh, so supportive? I'm lucky. <sighs> to luck, huh? To luck.
it, Sarah. I'll go through right now. I'll go get Mordecai. This way. If you send gas, cover your faces with a wet cloth and stay low. Cover your face and stay low to the ground. I found a way out! Mordecai! I found a way out! Stay low! Go to the ground! Keep low! Mordecai! Come on here! Everyone's been by the guy! Everyone follow me this way! Kashik? Kashik? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Where are the others? A few of us made it out to the sewers, but... Mordecai and Mira are almost all the rest died here on the park. How did you get in? 
I thought I was the last Jew in the ghetto. The last one. Kashik, how did you get in? So come else. And you will take us out. No. Yes. No. Come. No. Kashi, come. I want to stay here. There are others who need their help. No. All right. And he is our leader. All right. Okay. All right. All right, everyone. Follow Kaji quickly and quietly. All right. Come on. Come, sir. Major Hoffel's SS informant says some of the leaders are still alive. He's heard that they've taken the sewers to the Aryan side to join up with the partisans and continue the fight. The Major wanted me to inform you of this as soon as possible.
You need a truck. We have a truck. We need it for two nights. <coughs> Trucks are expensive. Drivers are expensive. I thought you might say this. out to a canal. That's the beginning of the Aryan side. for us up above. We cannot hold on any longer. Well, there is no way to take all these people out on the street without a truck to get us out of the city. Kajik, you must go by yourself. Meet you, Zach. Time to make it. Yes, tonight. No, they're late. We can't afford late.
in a delay. They will try again later. We must keep everyone calm. I'll let them know. Yes, an office. 54 Proster Street. Office furniture. Cabinets. No, just the driver. We have our own laborers. You can. We must have water. We must have food. It is coming. Stay calm. We're doing all we can. It's not enough. I would rather die on the street with a German bullet. We will do exactly as you instructed. Everyone's safe. Now be quiet. There is another landing down there. Now go. Get out of the water. I'm telling you, the people cannot take any more. Silence yourself. You think I will let your weakness jeopardize the lives of all of these people? Have you any notion the sacrifices these fighters have made so that you can yes, be standing Anna. here alive? Anna. Alive on the verge of freedom. I want to get out! Don't think for a moment that I will hesitate to put a bullet through your skull, fulfill your wish, if you keep this foolish up. You, you just... just Where's your office? I don't see it. In the basement. Oh, what is it? This is your chance to be a hero before God. Drive. Pull over there. Quietly and do exactly as Kaji constructs. Marek, why are we doing this in broad daylight? Because we are. You're mad. You were right. Are there many more? Yes, there are more. How many? Forty on this landing and about a dozen on another landing. We can't wait. They will come. We can't wait. I promise. Just one more minute. One minute, and then we leave. I'll get them. We have no time. I'll get them. Quickly, quickly. Twenty more. Come, 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 come. This is an operation of the Polish underground. I believe in Santa Claus. Well, Santa, this is a pistol I'm pointing in your ribs. Do you believe that? Then you will also believe that I won't hesitate to splat your guts all over the cobblestones unless you do exactly as I say. Stay there. Into the trap. Quickly. Ten more. Hurry up. Hurry. Hurry now. <laughs> That's everyone on this landing, 40 in total. Come, Cash. Oh, that's it. I am not leaving without them. You are putting us all at risk. I am not asking you, I am telling you. Sivia, get on the truck. Sivia.
They've escaped. It seems to be so. I'm gonna have you communicate to Reichsführer Himmler that Warsaw will be free of Jews tomorrow. My engineers have prepared dynamiting the Jews' synagogue. Further, I've informed Himmler that the remainder of our work here will be carried out by the local police under my control. Now, you may even receive a commendation for your efforts. But between you and me, you let the bandits get away. I want everything brought up. Everybody, every, every corpse, every piece of evidence, and then seal it shut. Tighter than the Pharaoh's tomb. And every manhole cover in Warsaw. I want welded shot, every single one. Enough! Mordecai Anilevich sent me this letter shortly before his last battle. I want to read the part of it to you. Our fighters have endured conditions beyond description. Yet they have persevered, no, more than persevered. They have conquered these conditions and fought on bravely over and over and over again. Perhaps we shall meet again. Perhaps. But the main thing is the dream of my life has come true. I've lived to see a Jewish defense in the ghetto in all its greatness and glory. Let us remember Mordecai and all the others and let us continue. Let us continue to fight on. Deeply they breathe. Each breath so peaceful, so rhythmic. Yes. One after another, after another, after another.